Okay. Do you remember what we practiced? Y yes I think I can do this. Go get him, Tiger. Good, good morning. Welcome to Café Lemoore. Would you like a table or a booth seat? Booth. Okay. Uh, please follow me this way. It's a little out of the way, but does this seat work? Oh, okay. That's good. you're forgetting something. Huh? Oh, I, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot to give you your menu. Um, uh, here you go. <sighs> Don't mind my friend here. They only started working at this cafe a few days ago, so they're not quite used to the way things work around here yet. Hey, you're not supposed to tell them that. <laughs> Don't worry about it, newbie. That's what I'm here for. With my overflowing confidence and years of experience, I'll teach you the ropes of how to properly be a barista at Café Lamour. Now that I think about it, go fetch this lovely customer some water to get them started. I want to have a little chat with them real quick. Uh, of course. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm sure you've kind of picked up on this. But my buddy is an absolute mess when it comes to social interactions. I've kind of hoped that they would break out of their shell more by simply doing their job. But it doesn't seem like that's quite enough. Which is why I've come to selfishly make a request from you. Can you have a chat with them while you wait for your order to come out? I wouldn't ask this from anyone, but you seem pretty nice. And the way you smile is sure to put them at ease. No pressure, by the way. If you don't want to do it, I completely understand, since we only just met after all. You'll do it. That's great. Thank you so much for helping me out. I really appreciate it. But anyways, uh... Have you decided what you want from us today? We have a new seasonal drink on the menu that... Combines some pretty unique flavors in my opinion. But I don't think I prefer it over my usual. shortly oh okay here is your water um could i take your order no need to do that i've just written their order down instead i want you to sit down with them and treat them to a nice long conversation what what you you want me to s sit down with them is that even allowed <laughs> of course it is they already said so themselves Please, come with me for a second. I can't sit next to them. Why not? I think it'll be a perfect way for you to get out of your show. They... they're... Hmm? What are they exactly? They're really... C cute. Mm -hmm. Is that why you're as red as a beet? Sh shut up. I'm not ready, you are. <laughs> oh, you are adorable. Come on, just go sit down and talk to them. I'm sure it'll be fine. What? No, I... I'll be back with your order soon. Um, hi. I'm sorry about wrapping you into this. They can sometimes get a little demanding with what they ask of people. I'm sure you wouldn't want to sit down and talk to me if you had a choice. Wh what? You really want to talk to me? 
Well, I suppose if you're okay with it, then I am too. I was really hoping that I could get the chance to talk to you too, after all. Huh? Uh, oh, no reason. Totally not because I think you're really cute or anything. I mean, wh what's so funny? I, I am not cute when I'm embarrassed. I, I'm not cute ever. Y you're just saying that to make fun of me. You're really not making fun of me? Oh, okay. I guess I'll believe you. So, uh, what do you want to talk about? I'm not really good at initiating conversations, to be honest. I'm sure you can tell, but I've never been great at talking to people. One of the reasons I wanted to work here in the first place is because I thought I might be able to break out of my shell. Not that it's done me any good so far. Huh? I mean, yes, I did say you were cute. I'm sorry if you think that's weird. You, you want me to tell you what I think is so cute about you? Is that really what you want to talk about? Uh, oh, jeez, uh, okay. But if I ever make you uncomfortable, please just tell me to stop at any time. I guess to start off, I really like the way you dressed. I'm not sure if it would work for everyone, but it really accents your natural beauty and says a lot about your personality, which reminds me from how little we've interacted, I can already tell you've got a great personality. You seem like the type of person who would help a stray cat find shelter from the rain, if you know what I mean. L like me? I, uh, I suppose that you could relate this to that. You just seem like a really kind person and I find that rather cute. What else? Well, the way your eyes gleam in the light really sends a shiver down my spine. In a good way, of course. They just seem really welcoming, like they're about to give me a big old hug. And your hair just looks so soft, I'd probably fall asleep if I started touching it. You, you want me to touch your hair? I, I don't know if I should do that. I know we're in a corner of the cafe, so nobody would see us, but I am still on the job. Uh, oh, okay, if you insist. Wow, your hair feels really nice. What kind of conditioner do you use? Oh, really? I might have to try that sometime. Um, back. Uh, oh. Welcome back. I see you were having a good time. I'm assuming you managed to have a decent conversation. I I think so, uh, kind of. I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Goodness, you really are one nervous wreck. Go splash some water on your face in the bathroom. I can't have you looking like a mess for the next customer. R right. I'll be right back. <laughs> so, how'd your conversation go? I listened to the ending of it, so I think I got the gist. But I want to know your thoughts. Yeah, you know, you're blushing right now just about as much as they were. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were pretty embarrassed too. You're usually not that forward, or you could have fooled me. Does that mean you prefer when others are 
charge. You know, I was a little jealous of they got to talk to you alone. You were way too adorable to let out of my sight. And now that I'm closer, I can start to smell whatever it is you have on. That smell is almost intoxicating, you know? If I'm not careful, I may just end up gobbling you up for myself. In the name of fairness, how about you let me feel that soft air of yours as well? Be sure to treat it with care. Great. I love it when people are good for me. And you are currently at the top of my list. I suppose I'll have to give you a reward. Your hair. Your hair is really soft. see those beautiful eyes of yours. I could just get lost in your eyes, dear. They bring me to a place of bliss like no other. And from the way you're staring at me, I can assume you feel the same way. feeling refreshed. Yes, I'm feeling a little better. Although I take it you're not doing too bad yourself. Hmm? Oh, yeah. I was just talking to our new friend about how well you did when talking to them while I was gone. I'm sure we'll have you broken out of your shell in no time. I suppose. Although I don't think I'll ever be able to be as confident as you. <laughs> Oh, come on. I'm sure you'll be better with more practice. I... I don't know. I guess... maybe. Uh, cheer up. And make sure to thank our new friend for helping you out. R right uh, of course. Th thank you for talking to me and letting me feel your hair. I r really appreciate it. There we go. Not so hard, is it? I suppose not. Well, they already said it. But thank you for helping me out as well. If you ever want to do this again, I've written both of our numbers on the back of your receipt. You, you did what? Why? Would you rather never see them again? No, no, I suppose not. I really enjoy talking to them and would love to do it again. But... Please don't feel forced to call us or anything if you don't want to. But if you do want to, then I'm sure I can speak for the both of us when I say that we would be more than happy to do this again in a more private space. But what are you insinuating? <laughs> oh, you'll learn in time, my friend. Anyways, I've got to teach this one how to make this season's special drink. So we'll be seeing you later. Make sure to stay in touch. We, we hope, hope you, you enjoy, enjoy the, the rest, rest of your day. day.